And the first on the card, we go trackside. And thank you, uh, Nick, and uh, good afternoon and a happy new year to each and every one of you as uh, we have an escapee going through the stalls here is um, one of these runners. I, I had my eyes um, out of the binoculars and now let's just, it looks like uh, Shehab it is, Shehab. Shehab has uh, gone through the stalls without the rider, so there's going to be a delay here. And Snowland number one at 120 and 110. Now, well, the clerk of the course, one of them, has done a very good job and has picked up this escapee and the horse has only gone down to approach the home corner. So it will go back to the barrier stalls, be vetted out, and we'll know in just a couple of moments whether the horse is fit enough to run. Snowland, $1.20, $1.10, looks well, carrying a tape on his uh, near front fetlock joint. Smith Stewards, yes, sir, Ray. Got to take it out. 107. Thanks, Ray. Okay, that was the chairman of stewards, Mr. Ray Murray, he advising that uh, Shehab is out already, so they haven't mucked around. Number eight, a late scratching from the first Eastern Daylight saving time at 1.07. Yes, Snowland, uh, he's carrying a tape on the uh, near front fetlock joint. Uh, he looks well. Gee, there's a good sort of horse in this. A Hennessy cult by the name of Brandy Storm, trained by Gary Portelli. There has been a sprinkle in the ring to stay, uh, say that he might race well here, Brandy Storm. He's a magnificent individual. Force Apollo's a uh, catrail and he's a good sort, but I've been really impressed by the uh, looks of Brandy Storm. Whether he'll race anywhere near how he looks, well, time will only tell. OK, well, Shehab is almost back at the gates, so uh, once he gets around behind Sane, they'll position Azam Valley performer and the good looker, Brandy Storm. Bad luck for connections that uh, Shehab is out, but he'll keep for another day. He's a nice horse by Dane when he's trialled OK to Shehab. Now, Shehab is refusing to go behind the barrier stalls. One of the gatemen takes charge. As Brandy Storm is the only one to go into the gates. Very hot day here at Randwick, about 35 degrees. Needless to say, the inside track is good. Rail is true. Bernie Cooper comes up on performer. And now, J.A. Cassidy on Brandy Storm, about to move up into the gates 870 meters never ever thought i'd see a race at randwick inside track of course proper over 870 meters but there's been a few but not for long with the course proper of course opening on the 16th of feb and they'll be able to again uh, run the thousand meters uh, when the races are on the inside track now here's the starter walking to his stand Shehab has been taken well away. Ready now. And they're off on the first here at headquarters. And uh, the favourite jumped away pretty well, Snowland. The newcomer, one of them, and the good looker, Brandy Storm, is showing a lot of dash. And by golly, he's raced too clear. And as they come to the 600, Brandy Storm, two on performer, a length and a half, Snowland. Run off his legs in the early stages from Azam Valley. And then comes Force Apollo. And Clever Kid is last. Railing well is Brandy Storm, and it rounds the corner. Two and a half, three performer, a length and a half, Snowland to the grey Azam Valley from Force Apollo and Clever Kid well into the stretch now at the 250 and Snowland is going after Brandy Storm J.A. Cassidy draws the whip on Brandy Storm as Snowland claims it immediately and Snowland he's a class galloper this fella and Magic Million Saturday week here we come Snowland races away from Brandy Storm and then Performer and that's the way they finish Snowland beat Brandy Storm and Performer followed by Azam Valley then came Force Apollo at Absolute in the race Clever Kid the late scratching was she harbored 107 number one the winner snowland chris Munts, magic millions here we come i'll say gee i reckon if this cull draws a decent alley at the gold coast his rivals will know they've had a race gee's a good horse and back from a thousand meters to 870 they ran him off his feet in the first 400 thanks to brandy storm he's going to win races too but uh, he knuckled down to his work in the last 250 300 in a real tradesman-like manner and the snippets cult is very very good 
Okay, what's he paid? A dollar ten and a dollar four. Dollar ten. Well, we've got to confirm the dollar four. Second is number five, and that's Brandy Storm has paid two ten. There is no third for number two performer. The Quinella three ten. Exacta three ten. Trifecta seven dollars, and we're waiting on the fourth. Okay, Ian, thanking you. We're awaiting a, uh, a winning time as well there too with Snowland proving too good. Now, dividends are all through. First four has paid $12.60 in New South Wales. Queensland details starting to filter through. There we go. Best of the trifectas, New South Wales at $7. Runners parading at Flemington for their first race. The ratings going one and seven equal from two and three. There's the one Sir Chuckle, the very good Geiger counter horse, uh, which is the current total elect. And that's the solid second favourite at $2.90. Uh, a little bit better on track, just the same. And third pick would be number five, Star Buster, who won its maiden at a kind. Not only just won its maiden, but that was first up from a spell. So there could be improvement in uh, number five, Star Buster, raced by Hancock's Bloodstock, managed by Shelley Hancock's. And those, well, what I would think now, are very famous colours of uh, Shelley's, the pink and white quarters. It's the third favourite. So Chuckle bolted in at Sandown last start, was able to dictate, nothing got near it. Adrian Patterson taking the ride and a three kilo claim today. So Sir Chuckles in well on the weights, only 55 kilos. A field of seven, so only the two place dividends on Super Tab. It's run down the straight six, the Super Vobus New Year Handicap. 1,200 metres for the three-year-olds. And number one, Sir Chuckle wearing the blue and gold colours. It's a gold fish hook and starred sleeves. Number one, the popular pick, comes from gate number five. And they're filling the stalls for the first event. Uh, Runade, which is the name we'll go for. I'm sure it, it'll be something different, but I'm not too familiar with my, uh, my Gaelic. I'm presuming it's uh, a name of that type. It's resuming from a spell trained by Dean Lawson, number four. Snapper Carne, number three, has got ability and is a Flemington winner. Hasn't been tried at 1,200 before. It is second up from a spell. Trained by uh, Robert Serkey. And they're set for the first event. The favourite is Sir Chuckle from Zonkt. First race in 2002 in the metropolitan area here in uh, Melbourne. Sir Chuckle is the favourite. Uh, there is one away from the line, and that is Zonkt. It's barrier one that is uh, vacant. Brett Preble to ride Zonkt. It has had four career starts, three seconds, and was narrowly beaten by Go Crazy at the recent Sunday meeting. That was first up from a spell. Did well, it raced in a Group Three, the the Guineas Prelude at Caulfield on the 23rd of September, beaten just under six lengths by Pure Theatre. We're set, ready. Still no start. The riders back on board. Snapper Kane. They're off this time. And snap over on the outside, eyes on success and Starbuster began well and they're all heading towards the inside with Sir Chuckle and Troublous, the inside runner there is Zonk, back behind them, Ruin 8 and last of all is Snapper Kane in uh, the race down by the 1000 metres and Sir Chuckle in the centre with a baldy face and narrow leader from Starbuster Zonk is over on the inside followed by eyes on success, Troublous, Ruin 8 and Snapper Kane is last as they race towards the course proper, 700 metres out and it's Sir Chuckle, a narrow leader from Starbuster outside him, Zonk Zonk back along the rails from Ruinade, Troublous, the grey eyes on success. Had a bit of a bump there with Troublous and the outside runner is Snapper Kane at the 450 and the leader Sir Chuckle held together here from Starbuster. Zonk is over on the inside, Ruinade niggled that from Troublous, eyes on success under pressure and so too is Snapper Kane, 300 metres out and Sir Chuckle's rider had a peep around. Zonk is a clear second now. Starbuster weakening, Ruinade running on, followed by eyes on success, Sir Chuckle in front. Kicked away here from Zonk, Starbuster and further back Ruinade with a hundred to go, he's home, Sir Chuckle. In second place, in Zonkt and Starbuster third and the first favourite home in the first. Sir Chuckle is down a length and a half to Zonk, Starbuster third. Then Ruinade, eyes on success, troublous, and tailed off was Snapper Kane. One Sir Chuckle, A. Patterson, 180 the win, 120 the place. Seven Zonkt at 150, no third five, Starbuster. Note in New Zealand, number 14 in the previous event, Ona Omen has been declared a non-runner. Have denied a fair start, so number 14, a late scratching, and we now have correct weight, 143. And a riding change at uh, Ramwick, number 8, Wardski. Andrew Gibbons at Ramwick in the second. The seven Zonkt, ridden by Brett Preble. 
probably uh, now be recognised as one of the best maidens around at the moment. And third placing into number five, Starbuster. Brett Preble on Zonked and Eddie Casser riding number five, Starbuster. Numbers one, seven, five and four. One, seven, five and four on race number one. Yeah, very comfortable win there to Sir Chuckle, who's by Geiger Counter of Dance a Gallop. A Salieri Mare, raced by JJ Jury and uh, T. Muello, trained by Michael Moroni. And his apprentice, Adrian Patterson, on board there. Number seven, Zonked, running uh, its uh, fourth second in five starts by Zedative out of Red Coronet, McPrice. And third in two, number five, Star Buster by Dirty Or from Phoenix Dragon, Greg Urell. Numbers there, one, seven and five. Sir Chuckle returns two dollars. All right, uh, Sir Chuckle, 180 the win, 120 a place, seven zonked, a dollar fifty no third dividend for five star buster. The Quinella, 220, exact to 370. Trifecta 1430 and the four, first four, 175 and four, $81.40. Lost in New Zealand with number 14, owner, omen, a non runner, minute. Just lost our communications with Randrick temporarily. Uh, if you missed Wayne's late mail, one, four, three, and seven. Not too far away, uh, should I say, Ron Duffy's late mail. New Year's. It affects the uh, best and the worst of us. Two, eight, and eleven. Uh, correct weight is there, Eagle Farm on the first, and as I mentioned, correct weight there, Flemington on the first. They'll be parading very soon for this next race on the card at Flemington, which is due to go in about 20 minutes, or about six minutes off the runners parading. Eagle Farm, 124.3. The margins two and a quarter by three quarters. One and a quarter back to fourth, the top weight. Back to Randwick now. We can go for race two. Right, OK. Well, I don't know what the problem was there. Our radio audience had us all the time, but uh, there's a new system being installed here at Randwick and uh, they're having uh, all sorts of problems on the uh, technological front as far as... Uh, the television uh, reception and uh, television sets around the course is concerned. But anyway, let's concentrate on this race. And we're waiting for Marwin Gold to come up. Time out, heavily backed favourite. Number three, $2.80. First of the day, one by Snowland, one impressively. Calming anything but that in the stalls. Line better now. This is the time honoured Carrington Stakes. First time over 870. They're off this time. They jumped on a beautiful line on Marwin Gold. Wide out ridden for dear life is the early leader taken on very quickly by Wardski and on the inside Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Then Straban top slice followed by Calming. Second last is the favourite timeout and three quarters to telling blow. They work their way down the side. Coming to the 500 marker and the roughy Wardski is the leader from Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Marwin Gold third, Straban is fourth. Then top slice Calming followed by telling blow and timeout is last well and truly beaten for speed although he's making ground now in the stretch 300 to go Wardski is the leader time out is seeing clear running now followed on the outside by Carming and on the inside Aussie Aussie and Straban at the 100 and here's time out pegging back Wardski time out hits the front and away he goes ah he's too good for them time out from Wardski and Marwin Gold and Carming Straban Aussie 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 top slice and last telling blow number three too good well, it wasn't surprising that they did run him off his legs in the first 400 metres. He was coming back from the razor sharp of 1100 at Warwick Farm to the 870 today. But he's come back in marvellous, Nick. And uh, on the tote here today, he has paid $2.90 and $1.40. Brian was lucky he was able to weave between the horses if uh, there was a a situation that applied where he had to come to the outside I don't think it would have made any difference really he just was much too good for them number three time out written by B York is first 290 and 140 waiting on the second and the third eight will be second Wardsky gee didn't he run a race after two consecutive wins at Cessnock he's paid three dollars fifty and number two will be third Marwin Gull Grant Buckley and one dollar eighty those numbers official three eight two and four the fourth number four coming 
Winner trained by Gay Waterhouse, first two for Gay, and raced by P.D. J.D. Horwitz, Mrs. Uh, Val Smith, Ms. D. Dajaval, and uh, Gr Mr. Graham Smorgan. And uh, timeout now had nine starts for, th for nah, what is it, four wins now, two seconds and one third. Number eight second battled on very well, Wardsky by Carrie the Crown from Moorfield Star. And Owen J, near Moorfield Star, remember her well. Gordon York trains, Andrew Gibbons replaced Paul Falvey and number two third. And that's Marwin Gull. Isn't he a consistent horse by Marwina from Princess Marigal, Gary Portelli, Grant Buckley. And as I say, four fourth coming. Every hope Straban. But uh, the winner was a mile too good. He's run 50 point... Let's check this fraction 12. 50.12. The record uh, is 49.22. 50.12 broken down to a last 600 of 33.42. Strike a light. What's time out run his last uh, 200 in? Something really slashing. Here are the totes officially. Number three, 290 and 140. Number eight, 350. Number two, 180. The Quinella, $30.80. Exacta, $27.30. The Trifecta, $153.30. The first four paid $1,052.60. Ian, thanking you. With the juggler colours successful, Peter Horowitz colours before they paraded Flemington. They'll be joining the mounting yard there soon. Heading down to the start of the... The seven. Good afternoon, Brian Baldwin. Good afternoon, Les, and listeners to 2KY Racing. In the first race, the Joe Ferris Memorial Class 1 Handicap, 1,400 metres. Number two, Miss Shivers, to be ridden by Andrew Cox, looks absolutely stunning. In beautiful condition, the great runner Corindai on Boxing Day when she was third to similar road has obviously done her the world of good. I'm picking number two, Miss Shivers. Us. Three, Lady Dakmar, the favourite, the very short favourite, uh, ridden by Greg Ryan. Looks very, very well, but uh, I just doubt her at the 1,400 metres. And number one, Agent Chaos, uh, won at Inverell, two starts back at the TAB meeting in November. This horse has improved out of sight since that run. Looks very, very well in condition. And number four, Alexander's Pride, ran a great race here on Boxing Day when fourth. And uh, he, uh, over 1,010 metres, the run has obviously done him the world of good, and you must put him in your multiples. Alexander's pride to be ridden by top rider. Line GW. straight out the back, Mystic L. First to go, Moella, and also away smartly. White robe drifted on the inside. Then deeper outbound to score, followed by loquacious Mystic Allen Melodies back towards the tail. At the 1,400 metres, no pace on here. Bound to score, moved up on the outside of White Robe to share the lead. Two lengths away, third is Narita over on the outside of Drifted. A length and a half to Moella. Mystic Allen inside it from loquacious just a little bit deep. And last of all is Melodies. Seven lengths off the leader. 1,200 metres out and White Robe takes over again here. By three parts of a length to Bound to score, two and a half. Drifted on the inside of Narita. A couple to Moella. Then comes Mystic Gull on the rails from Loquacious and last a length away was Melodies inside the thousand metres and White Robe still by three parts to bound to score a length and a half drifted over on the inside from Narita, Mystic Gull pulling on the rider followed then by Loquacious out three deep, Moella in the centre and last of all as they head around the corner was Melodies, 700 metres to go and it's White Robe three parts to bound to score Narita going to a clear third, drifted next followed by Loquacious, in between runners Moella, Mystic Gull and last of all is Melodies as they swing the 500 metres out, White Robe leads him into the straight from bound to score. Narita and Loquacious, the widest runner, drifted back along the inside, waiting for a run. Then Moella, Mystic Gull under extreme pressure and Melodies inside the 400 and Narita raced up to White Robe. Loquacious about to go after Narita. Deeper as Melodies running on and further back then is Moella. In front, Narita Loquacious on the outside, under the whippers, gradually picking it up, followed by Melodies. Narita still in front. Loquacious on the outside. They come away to fight the race out. Loquacious and Narita Loquacious puts its head in front and Loquacious comes away. Wins by nearly a length, Narita. White Robe battled back for third in front of Melodies. Then Mystic L followed in by Moel, a second last bound to score and last was drifted. Winner four, Loquacious, Brett Preble, 380 the win and 150 the place. Two, Narita, 160, nine, White Robe, $4.30. Brian Baldwin's thoughts in the first in Varel, two, Miss Shivas to beat three, Lady Dakmar, one, Agent Chaos and a watch on four, Alexander's Pride, two, three, one with a watch on four, Sunshine Coast the first, short half head by two, 126, nine, eight. The third, numbers will be four, two, and we stand by for third, it will go to number nine. That's not official as yet, not up on the semaphore board. There it is now. Four, two and nine on race number two. The winner, Loquacious. Thought it might appreciate the bigger track here today and so it's proved by Royal Academy out of Dateless. I think the connections of Loquacious 
Um, the Bartles used to race, Dateless, uh, mare by Grosvenor, uh, race by Ellie Bartle, M. Dolan, Mrs. P.G. Bartle, Mrs. J. Dolan and P.J. Miller, Mick Price, the trainer, and Brett Preble aboard. Defeating number two, Narita, by De Heer from Bridal Party, John Hawkes, and third in number nine, White Robe, who battled on strongly after leading by defensive play out of Flanell, Michael Moroni. Fourth place in going to number five, and that was Melodies, who looked sure and certain to run a place at the 200 metres when it went up to uh, White Robe, but just couldn't get past it. Mr. Gell, oh, <laughs> wrong today. They got it wrong, the punters who were on it. It was under pressure a long way from home. And number four, Loquacious, 380 to win, 150 a place, two Narada. A dollar sixty-nine white robe, four thirty. The Quidella, five thirty. Exactor, eleven ten. Four two nine trifecta, one hundred and thirty two twenty. And the first four, four two nine and five, four hundred and thirty four forty. Now about to move in at Inverell for the first, and the favourite is three, Lady Dakmar, two ten. Well, particularly with the top two, but my word, there's been plenty of money on track for number two, Periphery here. Periphery has been by far and above the best tried runner, a Grand Lodge filly, and the Johnny Hawks training. One of the uh, horses that uh, are not owned by Jack and Bob Ingham. Rod Quinn riding periphery, very heavily supported. 250 on tab limited, 140 the place. Wild song number one, three dollars and a dollar seventy. Now they're moving up over at the 1400 metres on this hot day out at Randwick. Up to line comes Paris Platts. Moving forward now is Shea Miracolo. Jetta Nova still to come in with Wild Song, Periphery, and Ravenswood. Previous race of the day went to timeout. Number three, Brian York, beat eight, two, and four, and the first to one, Snowland. Chris Munts from five, two, and three. Now, three to come up. Now, moving forward is Kenny Kisser. Very heavily tried. Periphery number two, 240, 150. Number one is Wild Song, 310, 160. Wild Song and the Ravenswood, the only two to move in out here at Royal Randwick for race three. This is the Railway Square Handicap. 1,400 metres. Wild Song, narrowly beaten out here on Boxing Day by a fleecing. Drew a wide alley that day. And has one to contend with today. Periphery just inside Wild Song. Anyway, we'll soon know the outcome as they're all there. Soon be off in the Railway Square. Racing this time, and Intruser jumped out quickly, not quite as fast as Paris Platts, and Ravenswood out well. Settling down, Paris Platts taken on by Ravenswood, and Smooth moves third, followed by Kenny Kisser. Periphery a little more forward than at Canterbury, but is very wide. Not as deep, however, as Wild Song, and there's a pack of them in the middle division as Intruser is getting shuffled back, and the same for Rockley Opera and Jettanova. Now Periphery is eased back, but is still wide out with Shea Miracolo, and Wild Meadows on the inside. By gee, this is keen as they come to the side and smooth moves on the outside put the head in front of Paris Platts. Ravenswood a length away third from Canny Kisser and then Wild Song who's scouting very deep from Intruser and then Jettin over a length of refinement. Wild Meadows the inside and then Rockley Opera periphery three and four deep and in a compact field Shea Miracolo brings up the rear travelling to the corner. 500 ahead of them here and smooth moves from Ravenswood. Wild Song in no man's land. Paris Platts has dropped off then Canny Kisser a length to intruder and periphery hard ridden and racing greenly oh there's a couple down here we'll tell you more about it lately later intruder and wild meadows have lost their riders in the meantime wild song at the 200 taken on by jet and over who's coming home like a jet propelled ski it's jet and over after wild song jet and over draws level from wild song periphery late oh by gee this is a closey between jet and over and wild song Third periphery, fourth was Paris Platts, and then came Ravenswood, followed in by Kenny Kisser. Good margin off next on the run, smooth moves, and then refinement, Shea Miracolo. Tailed off was Rockley Opera, one of the riderless horses going past the line now. I refer to Wild Meadows, and here's the other one unscathed, and I refer to uh, Intruser. Now the riders are both on the track, Wild Meadows. Let's just let this uh, photo finish. Jet and over prominent here in this photo. Let's uh, more importantly concentrate on the jockeys here. Uh, Wild Meadows, Grant Buckley, 
is just lying inside the running rail and in Truza's rider I referred to Bre I refer to Brent Stanley is uh, about three uh, away from about well, what would he be about 10 feet off the inside rail now both jockeys or certainly Buckley is quite conscious I can't quite uh, get a uh, clear sight of uh, Brent at the moment because of the two ambulance officers tending to him okay well here is the yeah six is the winner Jetanova number six is the winner Jetanova written by uh, Dario Vagu well congratulations uh, Dario the Italian jockey who's over here for a stint and uh, Jetanova has scored from here and trainer Oliver Kuhlman has paid 14.90 and 2.90 what and Oliver Kuhlman is the trainer a young trainer uh, entrusted with some nice horses and doing a good job so six one two and nine Get a report on the jockeys and horses as soon as we can, folks. Grant Buckley, Wild Meadows, Brent Stanley on Intrusor. Oh, a spectacular fall third race at Randwick. New Zealand, we're approaching the Group 1. The favourite in New Zealand when we last checked was the 9 at around the $5 quote. It's $5.60, best of the value. Here's Queensland and Super Tab. Second elect New Zealand around the $7 mark is the 1. And look at the huge crowd in at Hellersley. Correct weight we have at Eagle Farm. Following this race, we'll be taking you to Victoria Park. Varied Scott Galloway for John Hawkes on seven, six, and a five. Six minutes off Victoria Park. It's the two clear elects, the three from the two on betting. Look to be a, uh, a two horse race. Now, Flemington, Earl Marshall, Jangling Jack, and Gunner Marta. Four, five, and eight. Equal top rate as we hear from Stephen Arnold about the chances of Earl Marshall. It's a happy new year to Stevie Arnold. Well, Stevie, can this year be as good as last year for you? I hope so, Alf. Uh, really good season last year and, uh, yeah, hopefully it continues on. Well, you start off with Earl Marshall. Gee, I've been really pleased with this horse. He, he doesn't seem to give any tries hard. Exactly. His last uh, few runs have been very consistent. He's a uh, horse that can race on the speed and, uh, as I say, he's, he's been consistent his last few runs. As opposed to Bomber Bill in the big one of the day, He's, I think, been a bit disappointing. He has. He's, he's been a little bit in and out this time in, and uh, at his best, he'd be very competitive in this race. You know, he's uh, he's Group One winner, and uh, you know he's capable of winning the race. Um, but you sort of got to catch him on his day. And a nice firm track too does suit him. Exactly. Yeah. You know, he's on top of the ground horse, and uh, he gets that today. And all-time high, like he's a Group One winner. How is he first up today? Yeah, seems to be going well. As you say, had a long time off and a uh, couple of couple of problems last time in. And a good spell this time. Um, seems to be going well, but uh, you never quite know until they get here race day. And I suppose you're looking forward to reacquaint yourself with Magical Miss. Yeah, that's right. You know, she won't be far away, and uh, you know, hopefully she comes up and uh, looks super last time. Good luck, mate. Thanks, Al. Stevie Arnold, one of our champion jockeys here in Australia, and uh, he's got three nice rides today, starting with El Marshall in the upcoming event. And still yet to move forward, New Zealand. Uh, their past start time by 30 seconds, a two-mile race awaits. Uh, they're going over the scales in Sydney. We're awaiting a report through from there. Runners parading in Flemington, though, in the meantime. That's the scene, New Zealand. And Victoria Park due in four. Support for Devil in Disguise, $4.60. You've seen the ride of Stephen Arnold, Earl Marshall from the Mitch Didham Yard at Flemington. A check of some of the others as they... Victoria Park is due to jump in three from now. So uh, due for uh, some sort of clash here, but... As they move in New Zealand, we join up with the team from Trackside. In such a big betting race to have brought Maguire into that money and the...